single session endoscopic fundoplication after per oral endoscopic myotomy, POEM plus F, for prevention of post gastroesophageal reflux, one year follow up study. Introduction Per oral endoscopic myotomy, POEM, is an accepted treatment modality for achalasia cardia. Results of POEM have demonstrated excellent medium and long term success rates. The procedure is minimally invasive, has an excellent safety profile, and can be performed even in cases of prior treatment failure. Results of POEM are superior to single session endoscopic balloon dilation, EBD, and are comparable to laparoscopic Heller myotomy, LHM. However, in recent years, there has been increasing concern about post poem gastroesophageal reflux, GER. All treatment modalities for achalasia cardia induce loss of control of the lower esophageal sphincter and are therefore prone to post-procedure GER. Conventional teaching recommends that LHM is always combined with partial or full 360-degree fundoplication, LHM plus F, more often anterior, door fundoplication, to protect against postoperative GER. Overall reported post-LHM plus F GER rates have been acceptable. To date, fundoplication has not been standard after POEM. Early results of POEM reported low GER rates, 6% to 21%, possibly due to selection bias and limited follow-up data without objective evidence such as pH studies. Recent studies have reported high incidence of post-POEM GER, 15% to 88%. A recent meta-analysis reviewing POEM, LHM, and EBD demonstrated that POEM had the highest efficacy for relief of dysphagia, but also the highest incidence of post-POEM GER. A prospective randomized trial comparing POEM with LHM also demonstrated a high incidence of post-POEM GER. Although most post-POEM GER occurrences are mild, grade A or B, severe GER, grade C or D, or development of Barrett's esophagus has also been reported. Currently, most POEM centers recommend long-term endoscopic surveillance to identify such changes. In an attempt to reduce post-POEM GER, in a way et al. described a novel endoscopic fundoplication following anterior POEM, either as a single-stage concomitant procedure, POEM plus F, or later as a separate subsequent procedure, POEF. The procedure aimed to replicate surgical, laparoscopic, door partial fundoplication. In their first series of 21 patients, the authors reported reduction in reflux symptoms and optimum maintenance of the fundoplication wrap at one month follow-up. It is possible that POEM plus F or POEF may help to reduce or control post-POEM GER. The aim of the current study was to evaluate short-term outcomes of a single center case series of patients with achalasia cardia undergoing single session POEM plus F. Methods. This was a retrospective analysis of a prospectively maintained database of patients undergoing POEM plus F. Abstracted data included demographics, achalasia type, pre-POEM Eckard score, pryotherapy, and follow-up. Follow-up assessment was three monthly for one year and included post-POEM Eckard score, GERD Q score, RAP integrity and esophagitis on esophagogastroduodenoscopy, and pH studies. GER was defined according to Lyon consensus. Results, 25 patients underwent POEM plus F, mean age 40.1 years, 12 females. POEM plus F was technically successful in 23 of 25, equaling 92.0%. Significant dysphagia improvement was seen in all 25 patients. Mean pre and post POEM Eckard scores 8.21 and 0.1, respectively. Mean total procedure and fundoplication times were 115.6 minutes and 46.7 minutes, respectively. Times reduced significantly after the initial five cases. Median follow-up was 12 months. Intact RAP was seen in 19 of 23, equaling 82.6%. GER, abnormal esophageal acid exposure time, EAET, was seen in 2 of 18, equaling 11.1%. And there was one reported GERD-Q greater than 8. Borderline GER, asymptomatic grade A esophagitis, normal EAET, was identified in 4 of 22, equaling 18.2%. Three minor delayed adverse events occurred but required no intervention. Conclusion, POEM plus F was safe and reproducible. 
at 12 months follow-up, incidence of post-poem plus F-G-E-R was low and acceptable.